I'm here with John DiMaggio. Uh, John DiMaggio. You know what those DJs are called? Those guys? They're pukers. Pukers. That's right. That's right. Because they sound like that. We're about to puke. Hey, coming up next is uh, Ario Speedwagon. Uh, sorry. That's just funny. Every time it is. Every time, Every time, time it is. Every, it is. Every time. Um, and you are kind of the the brainchild behind all this, right? Well, me and a couple other guys uh, uh, came. Me and uh, Larry Shapiro, Lawrence Shapiro, uh, who directed the film, and is one of the producers. Um, he 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 saw a thing happen to me in Amsterdam. He was uh, directing this thing, this musical festival called Jam in the Dam. It was, it was you know shooting it for for video, and. Um, I would and I was emceeing it, and these fans from Germany were just like, "You are Bender from Futurama, yes? We love that show." And they were they were all freaked out. And he was just like, "Man, people know your voice like all all over the place." And we decided we he was just like, "Let's do a project. Let's highlight let's highlight people doing you know what the you know the voiceover industry." And I was like, "That sounds kind of interesting." So we were playing with it and and developing it, and then finally. Um, uh, I got a producer, uh, Tommy Reed, to get on board, and he, he, he just—I mean, he, he, he got things rolling, and we started shooting, and we ended up getting 150, 150 interviews, 160 hours of material, and then Brandon Sonnier, our great, fantastic, unsung hero of an editor, put it all together in 96 minutes, and and I mean, and it's great, so. And it still stands up, and it's the only documentary of its kind. So, yeah. so I think that it's really cool. And now that it's being re-released, you know, on on digital platforms again, that's even better. And we're doing some other stuff with the with 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 the whole idea, you know. So it's it's exciting. I'm I'm excited to see it expand because I love the documentary. And uh, like you said, it is there's a lot of material. You can tell there's a lot more, and I want to see all those pieces. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna see uh, we're gonna see what we can do to to make that available to the fans and 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 work on some other stuff. So it'll be interesting. Uh, one of the things I'm asking everybody because something you talked in the movie about is the versatility of voice acting and how you're never limited to the way you look or anything. Yeah. Like you can play a different gender, you can play a different race. It doesn't yeah. matter. Is there a character that comes to mind for you that is furthest away from you either physically or personality wise? I mean, that's a good question. I mean, I did once play a um, a Puerto Rican transvestite prostitute robot <laughs> on Futurama. So far. yeah, it's way far. That's way far. But um, but yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of it. You can you can do that, and you can and you can get away, and you're not hurting anybody. Yeah. You know, because especially if you get it right, <laughs> so, somebody's going to be like, oh, my God, did you hear him? That was crazy. I couldn't believe it. It sounded like my cousin. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. So, yeah, but it's, it, it, that's what's fun. And as long as you, you know, as long as you're not hurting anybody, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a moment where, uh, or the one that comes to mind significantly, I'm sure it happens all the time with Bender, but where you're with a fan or out in public, and you drop into a character voice, and you just watch them light up. It's uh, it's really kind of cool. Um, it's creepy too. I creep people out with it. I mean, it people go, huh. like I'll tell you a story. Like we were, we had when we did we were doing Futurama. Beck came on. He was a special, you know, he's a you know, special guest star, Beck, and um, and we recorded we recorded everything first, but then. He came in to do his stuff, and they were like, John, why don't you just come in and read with him? So it's just a little easy because you're doing the dialogue with him, and it really would help. Yeah, see? That's the Hulk right there. That's Fred Tattashore. That's my man. Yeah, everybody's doing stuff. Um, but we, he comes in, and we're all, everybody's just like, that's Beck, rock star, you know. And so we sit down, and I'm like, hey, man, I'm John. I'm, I play Bender. And he was like, oh, hey, man, how you doing? So they're like, okay, we're ready to go. And John, why don't you lead him in with the Bender line? So okay, cool. And I think the line was, Oh, you're God! You're back! And he burst into laughter, like uncontrollably. And he was just like, I'm sorry. I, I just blew that take. I just, and he looked at me. He was just like, I didn't really expect that to come out of your mouth, even though you're sitting right next to me and we're, we're going to record. He was like, That was weird. He was like, I won't let it happen again. I'm sorry. But that was, wow. And um, yeah, it just freaks people out, you know, it freaks people out. It's funny. I, you know, I get a kick out of it.
but it's nice. It's nice when people people light up. That's that means it's working. Yeah. So. Awesome. Well, I know you have to go do your panel, yeah, but uh, go do speak the, panel. the truth. Yeah, speak the truth, <laughs> brother. Start to, start to speaking the, the truth. Yes. Freddie speak Tatashore truth. speaking the truth right there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Always Thank a pleasure. Oh, cheers. <laughs>